Donald Trump has always been this divisively evil, but he used to be more competent about picking his battles. Last week Trump tried to force the issue on NFL kneeling, prompting his would-be ally Drew Brees to publicly tell him to shut up about it. Now Trump has decided it's a good thing that a few prominent U.S. military bases are named after racist Confederate traitors. It all started when Donald Trump's own hand-picked army chief floated the idea of renaming the bases in question, because they never should have been named after racist traitors to begin with. Trump fired back with this surreal tweet. It has been suggested that we should rename as many as 10 of our legendary military bases, such as Fort Bragg in North Carolina, Fort Hood in Texas, Fort Benning in Georgia, etc. These monumental and very powerful bases have become part of a great American heritage, and a history of winning, victory, and freedom. The United States of America trained and deployed our heroes on these hallowed grounds, and won two world wars. Therefore, my administration will not even consider the renaming of these magnificent and fabled military installations. Our history as the greatest nation in the world will not be tampered with. Respect our military. Here's the kicker. Donald Trump couldn't care less about the right and wrong of this issue. He only cares about the political impact on his own re-election prospects, but considering the current climate, this is a losing issue for him. He won't gain any votes by taking this stance, and he could lose some. Trump gets incrementally more senile by the day. Accordingly, the stances he takes are just as immoral and sinister as ever, but they're becoming more inept and self-defeating.